Hey you guys, it's Britt. Today we're here with a little update on the Doherty Dozen. They put up a TikTok Black Friday shopping and as soon as I saw it, I knew I wanted to talk about it with you guys. And I also want to harvest some opinions because some of it I completely disagree with and then I always want to know what y'all think about it as well. So either way, if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys. So when I talk about flex culture with YouTubers and other influencers, I'm not talking about just people buying everyday things that they need and sharing it with their subscribers or followers. That's not what we're talking about here. Flex culture is this idea and it's really grown over the last few years, especially where an influencer or YouTuber or whatever is going out of their way to make sure that you know just how much money they're spending on things that they probably don't need. That's the idea of flex culture. It's the um, amount of spending that they're doing and we're not talking about normal grocery hauls or anything like this. It's literally making sure that followers know that they spent $5,000 on a Burberry jacket or $10,000 on a ugly handbag that they're probably only going to use two times, but making it a point that followers know not only that they bought it, but how much it costs. It's a little bit different when it comes to family vloggers doing it because a lot of times it's like, okay, well, you know, they're doing grocery hauls. But when you think about Alicia Doherty, look at all of the things that she buys that they don't use that end up going bad. And that's why I also focus on the food waste issue with her. Food waste should matter to everybody. I know that I talk about it a lot and maybe it doesn't matter as much to you, but I cannot stand to see food be wasted when I know that there are other people who literally cannot afford to feed their family. There are so many families struggling out here, so to see someone like her just constantly gallivanting around, spending $2,000, $2,500, $1,500 multiple times a week pisses me off, and that's just the way that I feel. Okay, so let's get into this video. I am going to let it play completely through, and then we will go back and I'll share my opinions. We went to Costco. We had to get this 12 foot Christmas tree for them. Then we impulse bought this arcade game, a new mattress for and some bath bombs. For Next we went to AT&T where we got 12 iPhone 14s, new phone cases and charger blocks. I also did some online shopping for F7 helmet he wanted, plus ghost pre-workout for Pokemon cards for Zoe, rainbow friends stuff for Bodie and figurines for Happy Black Friday. First things first, this Christmas tree. Don't you already have a Christmas tree? I don't know, you know, why why this is completely necessary. But I also know that a lot of families do go and buy new Christmas decorations every single year. As far as buying a new tree every year, that's not something that I've heard of. But Alicia also seems like the type of person, like, there's no such thing as vintage stuff in her house because she's just constantly buying a new thing every single holiday every single season it's not like oh yeah i still have my pajamas from last spring no like she buys new pajamas because it's a sunny day in june like she'll use any reason to buy a new set of pajamas for these kids so they probably already have a damn christmas tree but she needs to have a bigger better more um just tell me what I can spend my money on and I'll hand it over. Like this woman is so reckless. Now, as far as this arcade game, those kids are going to break that game. They're going to break it. Um, it's funny because <laughs> you want to sit here and like put this big bulky video game in your garage. Fine. But these kids are constantly glued to their devices. 
And what I think is gonna end up happening is these kids are gonna start fighting over this arcade game. You have 12 kids under one roof. I don't have to be a genius to know that kids are gonna be fighting over this. There are gonna be arguments because of this arcade game and it would have just been better off left alone. That's my opinion. Because when you have that many kids and they're all fighting over the same toy, it causes another added layer of stress, chaos, and um, just another thing that Alicia can't manage. Because let's be honest, she can't manage what she has now, throw an arcade game in that damn garage. And I guarantee those kids are gonna be screaming at each other within an hour of the thing being installed. Now moving on to the cluster that is these iPhone 14s that she bought for all the kids. She bought 12 of these. So for me, that means that they're for all 12 kids. Alicia has a new phone and I'm sure her husband does as well. So you're going to give all of these kids a brand new iPhone and the little kids who are literally not even five years old the, the youngest is not even five years old. She's going to be running around with an iPhone. Let's see how long that lasts until it's broken, lost, stepped on, doesn't work. And I, I always find it interesting when, and tell me how you guys feel about this. When parents give their young kids an iPhone, or it could even be an iPad, do you give them access to the app store so that they can buy things through the app store, like games, download apps that cost money. Do you allow them to do that? Because for me, I could see that getting out of control really quickly. Something else that's as important as the financial thing, which let's be real, Alicia Doherty doesn't give a crap about how much her kids spend on anything. But are you allowing them to download apps like TikTok? Because if you're allowing your kids free reign to download things like TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, that can open a whole new can of worms. And I know some of these kids already have phones, but man, being recognized and giving your kids access to download apps like Instagram and TikTok is what I think a terrible idea. There are these people who will seek out kids of family vloggers through their own pages so that they can talk to the kids themselves. Now, I don't know what size storage Alicia got on these phones, but if I had to take a guess, I would say that these phones were around a thousand dollars each. So, because she's not gonna, she, she, knowing her and the way she just like blows money, she's not gonna go with the least amount of storage on these iPhones because she just, she has no, um, she, no value of money. So let's just say they were $1,000 each. Now, the other thing that could be happening here is she and Josh are keeping two of them and the two youngest kids don't get a phone. But even if that's the case, these kids that are in the age range of seven all the way through teenagers, giving them a phone with access to social media so that they're on their own device looking at things on social media, I think is a mess waiting to happen. My God. There are also a lot of people who, you know, it's like they, they supported Alicia on this journey and put her in the place where she's at now. And all that she's going to do is continue to flex on y'all and show how reckless she is with her spending. This is not someone that I would want to continue to support if I was supporting her from a genuine place of like, oh, wow, I really like her content. This is just corny. It's tacky. It's flex culture. It's not showing anyone the value of money. And it's also opening, possibly opening her children up to a whole dark side of the internet by giving them a phone with access to social media. I know a few of the kids have phones already, but she's clearly making sure that each and every one of them have a, a new phone based on her own video. And then of course she goes crazy with the phone cases. Phone case isn't gonna protect that, that phone with some of these kids. Some of these kids will are absolutely just um, 
you know, wild. Like they're, they're doing, throwing the phone and getting upset and all this kind of stuff. So good luck with the case, but I don't think it's going to help anyone. The chargers, who cares, whatever. Um, moving on, she decides to show that she bought a $500 helmet for the kinship child. So again, we're going back to, let me just buy everything that he asked for so that I can continue to receive praise and affection from him, even though it's coming from a place that is rooted in money, which as a reminder, money is also the root of all evil. And that's my opinion. The things that people will do for money is alarming, gross, and, you know, imagine having to buy your kids stuff to, to re receive some kind of thank you or appreciation. Like you just feeding them and giving them a home is not enough. She has to do all of this extra stuff because that's what they're used to. And I like how she zooms in too. Like she zooms in on the price as if to say, make sure y'all take note. It was $500 because I'm the cool mom. Then she shows all of these pre-workouts that she ended up getting for the oldest child. <sighs> toys and stuff like the toys, you know, that's just more junk that takes up space in her house. And Alicia still has a lot of time in between now and Christmas. For the love of God, can she please just do one video showing buying all of this stuff and taking it to the shelter? Why don't you spend the um, $12,000 on iPhones and probably another $1,000 on the other stuff? Buy stuff that the local homeless shelter needs and show that on a video. Again, don't film people in the shelter because that's you know, tacky and it's not allowed. Um, but why don't you show that on a video? Show giving back, show how you're giving back instead of how you're hoarding and how you're creating mess and how you're giving your kids just materialistic crap that they don't need. Um, why don't you show something good for once? That would be really nice. And we still have a lot of time in between now and Christmas. Um, what a disaster. Either way, as soon as I saw that, I wanted to share it with you guys. So tell me how you feel. And also tell me how you feel about the whole iPhone thing. Um, again, very obvious that all of her kids are going to be getting a new iPhone. Unless two are for her and her husband and the youngest two aren't getting them. But either way, um, you know, allowing kids to kind of have their own device and move around online and have their own phone number is something that's very scary for me, especially when you consider how well known they are online. And that's how I feel about it. So either way, that's going to be it for now. If you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.